Hello everyone. Today I'm here with now. How do I pronounce it? Numod do the nami or how should it? Yeah. Uh, also known as Kenji Egashira, which is your actual name. Um, you're currently in the in the rivals league, but you're mostly known for being like a famous streamer on Twitch. I think you're doing that for almost ten years now. Uh, how how is it going today? <laughs> I'll just woke up. Uh... You know, we, we tried to schedule this earlier last time, but I didn't realize it was going to be so late for you, midnight, past midnight, I don't know. I didn't really I didn't really mind, I just like, for some reason I assumed that we're talking about the next day, I just messed up, so I'm sorry about that. But. Oh, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay for sure, so this was a, a good time for both of us, but got my coffee in hand, so uh, ready to, to answer your questions, of course. Yeah, before we before we get to streaming and magic and everything, I always ask like one or two question uh, questions about like other stuff. I even saw it on Twitter that like you know there was like this boot challenge or whatever, and you posted a picture of you <laughs> you being naked and you had like a six pack, and I was like super super impressed. Um, do you like work out a lot? Like if I didn't see you without 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 clouds, I wouldn't like necessarily assume that you do. But when I saw the six pack, I was like wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, th I think that's a lot of things um, geared towards streamers. Whenever somebody meets a streamer in real life, they're like, oh, you're a lot shorter than I, I thought you were, or you're a lot taller than I thought you were, or, you know, blah, 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 that type of thing. Because um, the camera has a way of, you know, not really... Well, it's just that, like, you don't necessarily seem, like, pumped, like, so I assume that you're doing, like, more of, like, car cardio type of exercise, or, like, uh, do you, I, I, yeah, like, yeah, what, yeah. what are you doing? For sure. So uh, a couple of years ago, I started doing like a, a 5k a day, which is you know just over a three mile run a day. Um, have you ever seen One Punch Man? The, yeah, yeah, I love it. I love yeah, it. So <laughs> I, I started doing 50% uh, of that every day. So instead of a 10 kilometer run, 100 push ups, 100 sit ups, 100 you know, squats or whatever, I started doing 50% of that every day. And I did that for like a year straight. Um, but I've always been big into fitness. So I don't do a 5k every day anymore, but I still I still run pretty frequently. Were you able to manage it since the beginning? Like I, I cannot really imagine myself just like you know out of nowhere, like doing that. Oh, I mean, it, it definitely took a lot longer, and I was a lot more sore uh, at the beginning of it. But I I did just power through it every single time. So it's I that's probably not the best way to go about it. I'm sure that's an easy way to get some injuries. Just you know jump in cold and go 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 but uh you know, that's what i did obviously it took a lot longer again like i don't remember what my starting time was for a 5k but mm -hmm. uh, yeah it was all, <laughs> it was much worse than than it is now of course uh sure uh you're a full-time streamer as i said you're doing that for almost 10 years the first time that i saw you i think it was like 2014 or something where you like decided to stream every single day and you know, obviously, when when someone decides to to do that, especially at that time, like there weren't actually that many streamers at that point, so that was like you know, like a big thing. So even I noticed. Um, were you streaming even before that, or was that the point where you like kind of decided to go all in, or what was going on with that? No, I, I had been streaming a little bit uh, previously. I think I probably started sometime in uh, 2012, uh, but it was it was kind of just sporadic. You know, I'd stream for a few friends or whatever like that. Um, actually, a, lo a lot of the people that uh, were early members of my community um, were ki are kind of like uh, getting names for themselves now. I don't know if you you watch the Ham TV at all, you know, but uh, <laughs> no, no Ham. Okay, <laughs> no, I, what, what is that? What is that? The Ham TV. Oh, that's Kyle Rose, you know, multiple Pro Tour winner uh, oh. back in like the early days of, of the Pro Tour. Um, but him and a bunch of other people from, I think, the Midwest, um, the Midwest of the United States. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, of course. Um, they were they were big early members of my community. I would always game with them and stuff. And uh, yeah, that that was that was before I started the, doing the one year challenge. It was a very small community. Mm -hmm. um, didn't really have much of a following that point. But um, what led me to do the one year live stream uh, was that I had just. I had just graduated college and moved out of my parents' place, so I had this like newfound freedom, um, and I kind of wanted to just say, "Hey, you know, let's let's try this, let's do this. I have all this um, free time now. 
uh, I was I was working a full time job, but I had more free time to myself. You know, no, no, nothing to to hold me back. And again, I was on my own, so felt like felt like trying it out. Did you manage to actually pull it off to stream every single day during the year? Yep. Oh, every really? Every single day during the year. Um, there were a, a couple days where, I mean, I don't want to say I cheated, but uh, I streamed for like an hour. You know, on one day, like I, I remember, I took a trip with my uh, dad going fishing. And so the night before, I streamed from like 11 p.m. to 1 p.m. Or sorry, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. in the morning. So that covered two days, technically, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. Yeah, yeah. So technically, I did get every single. Technically, day. yeah. Okay, okay, I understand. So you basically decided to stream every single day and like see what happens, or were you like serious about it? Obviously, you you couldn't have like perceived that what happened is going to happen like you know r right now you're very successful at what you're doing but at that time you like had no idea whether it's gonna work or not or at least I assume so what was like going through your head when you decided to do that like uh, like like I said I just kind of wanted to s try it and see what would uh, happen if it if it went well great um, I was working full-time at that point uh, doing night crew at a grocery store. I don't know if you know what night crew is. No, I, I'm not. I, I'm not a native speaker, so like these like super like specific terms that you don't really use right. that often. I have no idea yeah, what it so means. Night crew um, basically means uh, I'm like stocking shelves. I'm stocking the food. Okay, I'm okay. Stocking products yeah, yeah, yeah. At night when there's like nobody in the store or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so my my daily schedule uh, for like the first I think seven months of the one year. Um, streaming challenge was I would go to work at like 10 30 it started at 11 p.m get home at 7 30 a.m sleep until like 2 p.m and then stream for you know some number of hours until I would go back to work so it was it was a very busy hectic lifestyle with crazy weird hours but um you know I had I had no expectations but the the community just started growing and growing and eventually um as I mentioned, seven months into it, I was making enough money streaming uh, that it was earning more than at the job I was currently in. And I was like, OK, you know what? I think this is this is the point where I'm going to make the swap. But um, uh, to, to expand on that, it it was very, very lucky. Again, I I don't recommend this to new people. Don't don't just if you want to start streaming, do it because you'd like to stream, do it because you know, it's something you want to try out, not because you have high hopes of mm -hmm. uh, getting some huge following or making it a full time job or anything like that. You were able to get that big of a income after seven months. That's that's kind of crazy. That doesn't usually happen, right? Like, why, 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 why do you think it happened to you? Do you just think it was because you were streaming every day? So you were just like, you know, famous for that or was there like any other reason that people like you so much like do you do you, do, you, do you think something about that uh, I, I mean a large part of it and you know I make make no mistake of this a large part of it is luck for sure I think if um, in order to become a big streamer you you definitely have to have that um, facet of luck skill personality charisma I'm basically but. curious to know whether you think you would like succeed even if you weren't streaming every day at the beginning or do you think that that was like the selling point that made you succeed oh I see do you, uh, are, do you mean streaming in general with, with streaming L like, like you know the first year you, you streamed every day and people got kind of used to you streaming a lot and then even if you didn't stream every single day you were like popular enough that you could just like go on but I'm asking whether you think that if you just streamed like three days a week since the beginning if you would succeed anyway basically right oh that's a hard question I, I, mean, <laughs> I, want, I want to I want to hope to say yes I would still find success um, but that I couldn't guarantee that for sure because the thing about streaming every day is that people know you're going to be there, right? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They know there's going to be something consistent for them to watch. And, you know, I, I got into streaming very, very early on when there weren't too many people in Magic doing it. So it, it, it's possible that just because I was still an, uh, an earlier pioneer of Magic streaming, um, I would still have some success if I didn't do it every single day. But uh, the likelihood of that, you know, reduces dramatically. So... I'm gonna say who knows, because who could know? But uh, my odds of succeeding certainly a lot lower than uh, if mm -hmm. I had. 
So after the seven months, you made the swap and you became a full-time uh, streamer. Um, when you when you when you made a swap, were you like thinking that you're gonna do it for like a longer period of time, or were you like, well, now it's working, let's try it for half a year and then see where it leads, and then it just like went on and on like this, and then eventually it just like happened to to just like continue continue being successful, or like you know what were you thinking about that? Um, I had no expectations. I kind of just went in. I didn't, you know, I wasn't planning on doing anything else. Um, I had already saved up a bit of money, so I had kind of like a little bit of a cushion if something, you know, did go terribly wrong. But um, my plan was just to to keep doing it, see how far I could push it. Um, and you know, I didn't really have a backup plan, so not the smartest thing. Uh, don't don't try that at home, kids. <laughs> don't get. No, I actually, I actually, I actually think it's smart. If you don't go all in, then it's just not gonna work out, right? So. Uh, possibly, possibly. I mean, it's always ha nice to have some kind of even a small backup plan though so but like um, it, don't you think that if you have a backup plan then you like put some energy into the backup plan which actually like makes the the actual plan a like less likely to succeed do you know what i mean not necessarily. yeah i know i know what you mean but i guess i guess in that sense i didn't have um like uh you, your backup plan could just be like okay i'm gonna go look for a job if i don't you know make this much sure. money in in some amount of time it doesn't have to be like okay i already have this thing set up i'm going to make sure that this is still there when i go right so uh, i guess in that sense um it, it, it's okay to do that right and I, I i was investing basically all my energy it's just in the back of my mind there was that idea that you know if this doesn't work um, mm -hmm. I gotta go and find something real. Did you have like maybe problems at the beginning with maybe like parents or friends telling you that like you should just like find a regular job or something like that? <laughs> um, I mean, I don't, I don't obviously know you, but I assume that there is a pressure like that, right? Or was that not the case for you? No, not really. Um, oh, really? I wouldn't, no, I, really I wouldn't have expected like, that. Yeah, but all, I mean, all my friends were super supportive. Um, that's awesome. I think that's that's something from our generation and but my parents as well you know my parents have always been super supportive of me my mom especially she, you know she's like okay do you know do it grab grab it by the horns go for it my dad was a little bit uh <laughs> less or rather more skeptical he's like well you know you should probably go and find a real job but uh, uh go and see where this takes you right he, like <laughs> he was he was uh, he was optimistic but skeptical at the same time mm -hmm. Uh, as I said in, in the beginning, you're doing it for almost 10 years now. At any point during those 10 years, were you like thinking that maybe you should quit or maybe this is not what you want to do anymore? Was there any, was there, was there a point like that at any at any time or, or not at all? I mean, there, there are always those thoughts in the back of your head when, you, when you've been doing something for so long. Even like people always tell me, you know, oh man, you must have the best job in the world. It's so easy. You just have to. Yeah, I don't think that at all. I don't think that at all. Yeah, you, don't have, <laughs> you just have to sit in front of a computer and you play games all day. But it's it is very, very taxing, both, you know, mentally and physically. And I, I don't want to say there are any points where I was like, OK, I, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. But there have been hard points for sure. Not to the point where I want to quit, but it's just like it takes a toll on you, man. It's, I, I swear, ha after having done this for nearly 10 years now, it's like, I can already tell my, my, um, my thought processes, the way, the way I, you know, interact with other people in real life now is, is altered. I feel like my brain has, um, uh, recomposed itself in a way that it, it's harder for me to, uh, to like pay attention to small mundane conversations like if somebody's just talking about their day i'm like okay go get on with it you know just get get to the relevant information part or whatever um isn't that maybe sorry, that already... like just like you got older because i think that as i'm getting older i'm more like that as well so it doesn't necessarily have to do anything with streaming i don't think but maybe but i've heard that from uh, other streamers as well that it, you know it's somehow you, you, <laughs> the, your, your brain's re rewired itself to a way that uh, you know it's it's very hard to not just get instant fast information because you're as a streamer you're often parsing so much information yeah i, I get it i get it yeah and so um 
you maybe yeah, think do you maybe think you got better at explaining stuff because you know all the time you just have to explain your thought process during the time when you're like playing drafting and stuff like that do you maybe think that when you're interacting with other people and not necessarily talking about magic but about other stuff as well that you just like got better at explaining your thought process no not no really. <laughs> <laughs> i think it might be the opposite for me wow probably near the beginning of things i would you know uh when i was a, a new streamer i would explain every single thing more thoroughly just because you know i th i thought i had something to prove i wanted to make sure everybody was getting their um their knowledge worth you know they knew you know what was happening nowadays uh it feels like i might not explain as much because i don't feel like i need to because i feel like people can either you know follow along better or maybe there's not so much of a need to just constantly talk 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 also there's some amount of burnout if i if i'm just constantly explaining stuff um it i get uh, you know i get exhausted a lot quicker um and in regards to real life i feel like now i just want to i just want to listen you know i just want to absorb i don't want to necessarily explain anymore oh that makes sense Oh, uh, how how do you think you improved as a, as a player? Because you're just like playing, you know, almost every day. You're even in rivals. Do you, do you, do you think that the fact that you're playing all the time makes you like a like a player who's maybe on a par with professionals, or do you, do you not consider yourself that way? Oh, by the way, the the quality of your video got worse. Can we recall? Oh, yeah. Let's One just my, my video might have. Let's see here. Auto focus. Oh no, it's fine. Okay. So if you can just answer the question or should I repeat myself? Sure, go ahead and repeat it if you want to just start that over. Okay. Uh uh you, you you're playing almost every day because you're you're a streamer. Uh how do you think that impacts the way you're actually playing the game? Like do you think that you became really good over those 10 years? You're currently in Rivals League, so you know, you get to play against all the best players in the in, in the world. Um do you, do you think like you're actually like a really good player now because you played so much or like what do you what do you think about your play skill? I, th I think there are two at certain points. Yes, uh, playing every day, streaming every day has increased my quality of play. But again, like I said, that's only to a certain point. I'm sure I'm much better at Magic overall than I was, you know, when I first started streaming. But that being said, it's not the same as getting professional testing, not not the same as practicing with pros and whatnot, on, you know, on a, on a basis of practicing for the PT or practicing for GPs at stuff like that. Practicing with Twitch chat does not make you necessarily a better player. Let me let me tell you that like it at the amount of times where they are just flat out wrong far exceed the number of times, you know, they they point out a better play. And I consider myself very fortunate to have made it into Rivals League. I um what happened was I like spiked a tournament basically uh which and there are so many changes and rules with the the pro system, and I'm sure you know you're aware of that. But uh, yeah. at the time, um, at the time I got ninth on breakers. I think it was called that one of the mythic championships, the one that uh, Javier Dominguez won. And so he got eighth on breakers. I got ninth on breakers. Oh anyway. shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> he ended up winning that one. But as the ninth place finisher, I was one of the top. Uh, I think they call them challengers now. Yeah. And as one of the top challengers, that's what promoted me to the Rivals League. Um, do I think I'm as good as the majority of people in the Rivals slash MPL? No. I think the majority of them are mm -hmm. definitely better Magic players than me. Um, but again, I consider myself very fortunate. And I've actually done pretty well so far. Yeah, how are you doing? Uh, I wanted to ask about that. Like, what's your current position in Rivals? Yeah, I, I, um, before this last week, league weekend, I was 18th. Um, out of I think 46 or something uh, I think I fell down to I don't remember off the top of my head it's either 22 or 23 um, so not bad overall it's only the bottom uh, 10 that get kicked out so I have really really good odds of at least staying in the Rivals League and in fact there's um, some percent of a, of a chance that I can actually make the MPL <laughs> because of the uh, the way that the gauntlets work yeah. I don't know if you know how to do yeah I, I do anyway. I do yeah, so, um, you know, I've held my own, and, uh, like, I hate this, but, and one of the things I tell my wife all the time is that one of the biggest ways I can improve, uh, can improve is getting on a testing team, you know, with all these other rivals or MPL members, 
and yet I consistently don't. I consistently want to just do it by myself, you know, because I have like something to prove. I feel like so. Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to ask about that a little bit because now that you're in the rivals, you have to prepare for these these tournaments. Did your like approach to magic change at all, or are you just like anytime you're you're practicing, you're like streaming, or is there any oppo any is the, it, I'm sorry about my English. <laughs> is there a point where you just where you just like not stream at all and you prepare for the for the specific tournament because you want to win or is it always like streaming like what, what's going on with that no during the, um an um, upcoming league weekend i usually take at least a couple days off from streaming and i just grind 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 by myself mm -hmm. uh off of stream for one i don't really love uh streaming constructed um i consider myself a limited player and you know through and through and that's that's what i've started that's what i started with magic that's how that's my favorite way to play magic so nothing nothing wrong with constructed but if i'm gonna play constructed i'm usually going to play it off of stream just because one i don't think my viewers necessarily like it as much uh and two for those league weekends i i really want to get some good practice in and i mean practicing on the la arena ladder is not necessarily the best practice in fact a lot of the times i'll practice on magic online because i think the the competition there is a little bit stiffer um you really you really think that like i think that if you if you're like a high mythic then you're gonna get paired against someone who's high mythic as well right whereas on magic online you're just getting paired against random opponents so like i actually think that like the, the arena opponents are better but maybe i'm wrong i know i think on average the the magic online opponent is going to be better it's true that if you play um, no, I, and i agree with you that on average the magic online player is better but you're not playing against average players on arena, right? Like you're playing against players who are the same rank as you, kind of. So you are, and that's true. Uh, if you're in high mythic as well, but that means you have to, you know, grind that all is the way true. up to that high is mythic true. if you yeah, want to sure. do that, right? And so that that in itself can be a really hard uh, chore, just because like I don't remember the last time I played ranked arena. I've probably fallen back down to you know silver or bronze just because the decay every single season you have yeah. to be consistent with that type of thing i mean i'll do it for limited when you know a new set comes out but unless unless i have a league weekend coming up i i really just don't want to have to grind all the way through you know and that makes sense that makes sense through, sure yeah diamond and stuff like that so okay uh, i think i've asked everything i wanted to ask uh, before i cut it off maybe you can tell people where they can find you on the internet Sure. Yeah, you can find me streaming every weekday uh, over at twitch.tv slash numottthenummy. That's N-U-M-O-T-T-H-E-N-U-M-M-Y. Uh, you can also just type numottthenummy into any search bar and you'll find me on all of the social medias that way. Do you have a TikTok as well? I do not have a TikTok. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got caught. Okay, if you guys like the video, please click on the like and subscribe button and I'll uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.